these two hands today But I love memories and laughs and all that I create You may remember when I refinished this old coffee table a few years ago. Well, it's time for a change. And why would I buy a new table when I can refinish the old one? A little chalk paint and a vintage map will give it a whole new look. I started by painting the visible areas of the coffee table with chalk paint. There is no need to sand or prime first when using chalk paint. If you like the finish of your coffee table, you can skip this step. This is the vintage World War II map I'll be using. Since this map is double-sided, it had to be laminated to prevent the image on back from showing through once the epoxy gets it wet. This can be done at any copy shop. Since this table has a beveled edge, we made a template by placing a piece of wrapping paper on top and rubbing around the edge with a crayon. We then trace the template onto the map and trim the map to fit the tabletop. We use scotch double stick tape to secure the map to the table. However, if I were to do it again, I think I'd try Mod Podge, as I think that would give us more uniform adhesion and minimize any potential wrinkles. I don't, 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 don't feel afraid to innovate. Don't, 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 don't miss the chance to be creative. Don't, 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 don't. Try this at home. Try this at home. We're coating the table with Envirotex Light Epoxy, which will give it a glossy glass-like finish. It's important that you read all the instructions in the box before you begin. This tutorial is not a substitute for the written instructions. But essentially, you mix equal parts of both bottles in a plastic pitcher. We got ours from the dollar store. Use a paint stick to stir it very well, scraping the bottom and the sides. As you whip the mixture, it will become slightly opaque and bubbles will form. You need to mix thoroughly for a few minutes. Set your table up outside or in the garage. Cover the ground with a plastic tablecloth or newspapers as the epoxy will drip. Flood the surface of the table with the epoxy. The epoxy will level out, but you can help it along by using the paint stick to spread it out towards the edges. Sit at eye level and check to make sure that the whole surface is covered. Use a foam brush to coat the edges of the table and to wipe up any drips. Small bubbles will form as the epoxy settles. If you're working with a small area, you can blow on these using a straw to pop them. However, I prefer to use a barbecue lighter. Wave it over the surface without touching the epoxy to pop the bubbles. After about 30 minutes, new bubbles should subside and most of the dripping should stop. You'll need to leave the table untouched for at least 8 hours as the epoxy cures. It doesn't even look like the same table. For more great DIY ideas, visit Style Hall's YouTube Partnership Network. If you'd like to see a tutorial on how I used Envirotex Lite to transform my bathroom counters, visit MadeByMarzipan.com and search for Refinished Laminate Counters. Try this at home.